Right, Gary's just turned up. He wants to do a little bit of tinkering about on this thing, so we'll take some bits off, get them powder coated maybe. Not today, but he can get them off anyway. Not, I ain't doing it. I've employed you. He's employed me! See you in a minute. Right, well, as you probably know, the web motor's been sitting out here for a while now. Um, things that you can do at the moment, because I'm a bit busy at the moment, you see. I've got to look at Jimmy's car. It looks like it's going to pour down with rain. So I might tinker about out here with him. I'm not too sure yet. But this sort of thing can be um, stripped of paint and powder coated. You don't want any ball bearings in there, do you? No, they don't want to clean out. They don't want that now, do we? I'll tell you where that goes. In the fire pit, which used to be a pond. So that could be power. It might be worth putting some um, paint stripper on that first of all. Yeah. Just to get the first layer off. Because what happens with the um, original paint, this has been painted obviously, so that should bubble up lovely to get that paint off of there. But the underneath looks like it's the original web paint. I don't know what that is, but um, you do find that the sandblaster can struggle. The sandblaster don't always remove everything, you know, but uh, help it along, get this off here. And a lot of people say, oh, you don't know whether it's lead paint or not. When I'm restoring, you know, like other stuff, older stuff or whatever, the paint is no good. Yet, yeah, well, we we know that, but with my sandblaster, it goes into that cyclone dust collector, and also it's vacuumed out and there's filters in there as well. So none of it gets in the atmosphere. So those of you who say, oh, because they've seen other YouTubers get a little pen, a pen, which you rub on the paint, and if it goes red, that means it's got lead in it. But they don't know why they're doing it, or if their dust extraction is good enough. But mine is. So there you go. Anyway, so that's what you can do there. You've got them sort of bits. And someone reckoned that the chains were a little bit slack. Yeah, we only tried it to get it going, as you probably know, which we've proved it works okay now. And I would suggest that this needs uh, sharpening. There's lots of people who left me some information on that. I've done a bit of research on it myself, and yes, you backlap them, which uh, is pretty simple to do. You used to have to send them away to get done, and I think that was about £34 or something to get sharpened, but we don't need to do that in today's internet. Uh, knowledge, technology, wealth of in information. So we can do that ourselves, we'll be, we will be doing that. That can be uh, obviously stripped off. There is a graphic on there, we're not gonna be able to save that, but um, we might be able to reproduce it. Or there is a company online where you can get decals or decals uh, reproduced. So there's three on there, there's one on the back there, two on the top, and there's one at the front there, look. But uh, yeah, that's, that's that. The engine we're not going to strip down, although we will service it because the engine's running fine. So that will receive a, I think it was gold originally, that engine. So we might have to strip the paint off of that. I'm not too sure yet, but uh, want it looking totally original as it would be from the factory sort of thing. Everything else on it is original. But uh, yeah, so that's it. So start stripping bits off it first of all and doing the, um, the bits that we can do. Things like the oil filler cav, cav cover, the uh, Paul called cover as well. This here, I don't know if that comes off, does it? Or is it weld that's welded that's on, isn't it? On. Yeah, so they'll be stripping down done, but that'll be Gary doing so it. So we'll leave him to it, and we're gonna have a bit of a tinker about as well. So I'll see you in a minute. And it did start to rain, but I persevered and carried on and on. That's a lot better. Sharon don't know I've done that today. 
Saves her a job. I don't know where Gary's gone. Let's have a look in the log cabin, see if he's in there. Oh, you're in here, are you? Oh, you've got a few bits in here. First sign of rain, he's out the door. Yeah? What's that you found there? Look, here, show these. Let's have a look. I don't know what this is. He found this in a job lot of stuff that he got, look. This was uh, some sort of memorative plaque. He died for freedom and honour. Percy Hammond, whoever that is. I don't know who Percy Hammond is on there. So, uh, yeah, he got this in a job lot of stuff. It's some sort of placard, obviously, but uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, you can have that. Right, what do you want to do here then? I don't know. Do you want to try and sandblast some stuff? Might as well, isn't it? Yeah, so look for something small for... Well, I say something small. Do you want to give that a go? Wipe all that crap out of there. You ain't putting that in a blink of sandblast. Look at all that oil and grease in there, look. That's some blue roll there. Hey? Right, you can wipe that out then. You want the stuff as clean as possible. Yeah? Just get the grease out. There's some... Um, where is it? Some degreaser here somewhere. Our panel wipe that, do not it? Use some of that. I'll wipe that out first. Get that wiped out first. And then you can uh, wipe it down with Yeah, that. I've got to get this workshop sorted out. I know I keep um, meaning to, and I've done it on occasion, but it sort of goes back to this mess. So I will eventually get there. It's a big enough space. It's um, ideal, really, but everything just needs a place. And the more sort of different things that you do, the more you need to restore stuff, the more you, more gear you need, basically, you know? It's a bit loud, isn't it? Right, so just a drop of a panel wipe in there, first of all. Again, it ain't got to be perfect. We're just trying to get rid of all the grease and oil out of there. I don't want that going in my um, sandblasting cabinet. So you wipe all the... I thought you cleaned it. No, I've got all the crap out. Oh, <laughs> you ain't? <laughs> all the loose stuff. All the loose stuff. Sometimes it involves a bit of rubbing. Yeah? Yeah. yeah, I'll get around the edge of that, I'll go around. I've started you off, look. You normally put gloves in, don't you? I do, Dad. He normally puts gloves on because you don't want to get his delicate little hands dirty. Me, I go to mean to put the gloves on, but I always forget. That's better. Yeah, we've got a bit more around that edge so it looks a bit greasy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's dented. Yeah, someone took the mick out of this hammer. The other day on my last restoration video, where is it? Hold on. As you know, Jimmy's got all my restoration tools, and Gary got this in a job lot as well. It's a lot of panel beaters hammer, which I happened to use because I needed to when I was restoring that red truck that I converted from yellow. And people were saying, "Oh, don't worry about the truck. How, how good the truck turned out. Restore the hammer." Unbelievable. And someone said that I was using a pair of pliers hitting a screwdriver to pop some rivets out. Yeah. They've got multi uses. Unbelievable, isn't it? Right, so that's that. Right, so we fire up the compressor. I've, uh, I'm going to need to get some more grip for that thing as well, by the way. So, those of you who don't know, who keep leaving comments about, oh, you should check the paint for lead and all that. This is my Cyclone dust collector system. So, the hose comes out of here, and then rather going straight into a vacuum cleaner, it goes into this Cyclone dust collector which then drops the, all the dust and whatever into a little uh, container down here and the air is then cleaned in, uh, sucked out via the normal shop vac which I've got there. So that's the reason why I don't really need to check for lead on paint. And when this is sealed, providing that you have got extraction and an intake, nothing enters the atmosphere because it's not pressurised, you see. It works on a, a, a negative air pressure. So that's what I got there. And also, I did buy a couple of these lights uh, where are we? These things here, which are wired in permanently. They're basic LEDs. Look, and as you can see, this one's failed. That was sitting on there like that, and they're wired into a 240 volt supply. So these are only cheap, but I got them from B&Q. I think they were the Dial brand. Don't get them. That's what's happened to one of mine after probably about a week or so. So that's that one. Uh, still got that one working there, and I've only got this temporary battery one here at the moment, which is like a rechargeable, look, as you can see. Look, yeah. So the nearer you've got these to the glass, the lights when you're filming the less reflection you get going into the cabinet so if I had that oh, let me show you if I had the camera up here for example and if you have the light away as you can see you get the big glare but if you put the light source right near like this is then you don't get the glare providing you put your camera which I do normally right on top of the glass you can get a pretty good view but what also happens as well is that 
never take inside you've got this film here as you can see look this one's obviously old now and frosted up and this is protect your glass so I don't ever be tempted to pull that off I've got one on at the moment pull that off and a sandblast without because in no time you'll sandblast the glass and I've actually there to have a second glass in here because I didn't have none of this film now you can buy these on eBay already with a double-sided strip on them like that and they're very very dear I think I don't know about eight or ten pounds for four or five or something like that which is a lot of money what I did I found a supplier who supplies this thing which is the same film exactly the same film virtually and there's a massive big roll of it there and I think I paid 14 pounds for that or 11 pounds for the roll that's gonna last an eternity it's, it's so thick and I bought the same thin double-sided tape so all I do I cut one off to length along there cut it off to length and I go around the edges with the double-sided tape pull that one off give the glass a wipe and then put the new one on that's such an easier way of doing it if I find a website I'll leave a link to it where you can actually get this and it's actually for sandblasting cabinets so if you've got dirty plastic glass uh, plastic underneath pull it off get a roll of this stuff the, 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 the film or whatever it is and do it yourself so much cheaper than buying them off of eBay. So one other thing to note as well these original guns that come with the sandblasters aren't really all that good um, I took mine out and uh, it kept blocking up with that small little tube that they supply you with I put this on which is a uh, 22 mil I think copper but that's not really the correct job because when that goes down it it needs a separate tube going along down with it which I'm going to modify so it can suck air in as well you have a tube so I'm gonna this ain't the right way to do it It does me for now and you find every time I have to keep stirring it up when it gets too bogged down and it can't suck the actual stuff up so I've got to make alterations for that when I do it I'll show you anyway so anyway let's get Gary on here now right so whack that in now do you throw it or chuck it or place it? Chuck it, it I like throwing it in but apparently other people don't <laughs> shut that door connect up your hose that's it right and we'll put We'll put them on a bit of time, and as I said to you, it's not the exact perfect setup yet. My sandblaster could be a lot better, but we'll just see if this takes off two coats of paint. I do need some more grit. I use aluminium oxide in here, and it's virtually turned into a powder now. It's quite dear stuff, actually, but um, I've not found a good enough replacement at a decent cost. So we'll give that a go anyway. We'll leave him to that. I'm gonna go and have a cup of tea. See you in a minute. Jimmy's just turned up in my car. I'm supposed to be doing his car today, having a look at that, but he wasn't here, Sharon wasn't here, didn't have the jump leash. Jimmy's just popped home. So we're gonna try and jump start his van, then I can put his van under here, and uh, then we can have a look at the suspension. Maybe not in this video. battery on this the other week 110 amp um, 110 quid I think it was as well <laughs> happy days oh. what it. yeah where's yours I didn't, I didn't oh I thought he had the jump leads in his car my one's got a broken end on it oh god I I know you didn't get told, but I thought you had them in the back of the van, Jimmy. No, I need my work. Well, connect this one up. Oh, hold on, hold on. What? Oh, Tracy's turned up now, look. Just... Look, Tracy's back from Cyprus. Say hello to everybody. Come here, they haven't seen you for six months nearly. No, I've jumped about that. Was well, that all you can do? I'm standing there like a bleeding conk. You said hello, say hello to everybody. Say hello to the YouTubers. Hello, YouTubers. She's just come back from Cyprus, didn't you? Look, we're... Not right. Hey? Not right. We'll put that positive one on here. I'll take that, do something. Oh, you could take a leaf out of that and be positive. I am positive. <laughs> Funny, ain't you? Hi. I'm just going to quickly put this together with a connector. That's all I can do. See you in a minute. Hey? Eh? Well, it's done the job. It's a five minute fix. I've put a big a wire connector on it for the moment. Tight it up and then tape it up. It'll do for now. He's got to get back to work, you see. Right. Do you want me to see my one?
So we can't jump start it, so yeah. Yeah. I'll take the battery, I'll put the battery on charge and I can look at this tomorrow at my leisure. I've got other stuff I'm doing at the moment anyway, so. Anyway, this is just us messing about today, so uh, we're going to see, I think Sharon's just turned up, uh, see what they're up to indoors. You're so aggressive. I am aggressive today, I don't know why. Well, well tone it down, will you? Calm down. Know. What are these? one of these ones. Got a chili and see how hot that is. Oh, hold on. Can I wash my hands first, please? Yeah. <laughs> no, not hot. Yeah, that's rosemary and tomato. Oh, well, quite a That's it. Oh, keep your hand in one plane. Right plane. Oh, I'm just going to the plane. Oh, it's all in the starting off, look. Try to see. Look, off, off. I didn't oh. even count that. <laughs> that was the best one yet. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's marvellous, wasn't it? That's now for everyone to see. Let me wash my hands. Say something. Say hello to everyone, Sharon. Hello, everyone. I still like our live videos. Here he is, your new script. <laughs> Do you like our live videos? I've been told to say. Mozzarella ball. My daughter. My granddaughter, yeah. Tracy. Not from the Evie. same mother. Oh, no. Mother. Right, this is my son's daughter. <laughs> Come on, they've not even before. It's different viewers all the time, from all what, over the world. So we got cosmopolitan viewers, Jimmy. What month are we in? What month are we in? We're in August. Mummy's birthday tomorrow. That's the eighth month. Isn't it, Mummy? Haha, <laughs> you just found yourself. Hmm? You just got a slap. Mummy's birthday tomorrow. Good night. Good night, Angel. Now the hot ones. Why are you giving me the hot ones? Cut me a bit of that cheese off, will you? What one? Well, anyone, I'm not bothered. Can I make your cracker? Get up, Bison. Well, I'll have another cracker. Yeah, do a cracker, please. You got what, Jim? Apology if the manager ran me. That was Toby Carvery, we had a bad Don't deal. Mm. The other week, didn't we, Cher? We went in there for a breakfast. I want to say email them. And I think there was two know. staff on. Three staff and one chef. I said the chef worked hard. Oh, yeah, he couldn't do no more. I said, but as he's putting it out, the other food's drying out. You just can't keep on we stood, we stood in the queue to go to the car. We stood there. No, just stop you a minute. What? Do you want this? It's sweet chilli. No, thank you. Sweet. It's nice though. Got 20 minutes we stood in that queue. Right, mm. what do you want? That cheese, I don't want sweet cheese. Do you want some Mexicana? No, oh, I quite like that one. We've well, got no, the bacon out, what's that for? Just put it out of the freezer. Mm. Oh no, that ain't a cheese for me, that one. What is it? Since, mango. Couple, since you've been living in Cyprus, Nanny's got her head She's like tapas. Nanny's got her she head She does that before she went hey. to Cyprus. Nanny's got balls around her head again. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean again? <laughs> I'm going oh. Exactly. No, the noise. I'm making oh. noise. <laughs> in fact, when he plays it back, he's going to hear. I hope you pick up on that. And they agree with me, I'm sure they will. I am a noisy eater, can't help it. Right, be careful because this is broke. I'll put it on there, look. Oh, it was stupid. <laughs> Can't help it. Yeah? Can't help it. It's stupid on camera dropping all my food. They're like Marmite on it, isn't they? You either love or hate them. Bit like me. <laughs> well, yeah. You're a bit like Marmite. I'm hungry. Oh, yeah, you. I'm having a go at you now. Oh, yay. You told me the other day we had no Marmite. We haven't. Yeah. 70. Oh. <laughs> I had her then. <laughs> oh yeah, it's handy keeping empty jars, isn't it? She's recycling. You're going to refill it. One day it'll be a collectible, I suppose. She's going to put some chutney in it. Why don't you put it back in the cupboard? I'm helping you out here. Just go with the chutney. I'm putting chutney in it. <laughs> Hold on a minute. I don't think you're fully right. There's another slice of bread in there with Marmite toast. Got a bit of bread in there. Hey. I think you'll see them. There. You could use that, couldn't you? Is there any bread in there, Evie? No. No. There's enough to get another one out there, although there's something floating about in there. I don't know what that is. Chutney. That's the bread gone mouldy. <laughs> so if I leave that out, is there any chance you're getting it? But then again, we don't eat bread anymore, do we? Yes, yeah, just so shut up. It's nice in sauces. Although. If you make curries. I'll put bottle in that. We're going to have a curry, not a curry, what's it called? A Chinese for tomorrow for her birthday. 
Muggins is buying it all. It's my birthday. Hey? Yeah. It's, yeah, I know. I've got all my family around, it'll be a wonderful day. That's why day. I've done it for you, Sharon. Well, Even my son will be, Jimmy here. will be here. Jimmy! I mean, Tracy comes all the way from Cyprus, and I know she'll be here, but Jimmy, even though he lives with us, it's still dubious. Will he be here? And hopefully, he'll be bringing his other half with right. him, Charlotte. Go on, that's right. You're going to get her? Or we're going to meet Charlotte now. Right, right. No, she don't want to be on there. Charlotte don't like cameras. Right, like me, but. You've got to respect people's privacy, Sharon. Well, you don't respect mine. I do, you baby. love it. Exactly, baby. She does. Someone says again on the video. Why are they calling back? Why do you keep calling her baby? Why? What have you called your room? I'm just thinking that. Hey? You've got cheese on your nose. Look at poor Harry look. Because when he calls me baby, it's a lot nicer than the other things he calls me. <laughs> Can I have a bit of that uh, herby spicy jobby, please? Can I just try that out, please? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, cut it for me then. You've started the manoeuvre now. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. No, I love no, them crackers. Just give me the cheese, please. But they were dear, weren't they? Tapas. Two for two pound on that and that. When are you going back, Tracy? Never. Week on Saturday. Week on Saturday. We're not meant to go back, are we, Evie? She's got to stay with us. Oh, it's lovely. Happy to buy here. Is it? Mmm. Is it good? Yeah. 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 Ye